Hi there folks, Celtic Star is on its way. For this pendant pattern I will use only two types of rings. Steel rings and also copper rings. Well, a little bit about steel rings that I used for this project. We will need 15 steel rings for this pendant pattern. Inner diameter of the rings is 7 mm and wire diameter is 14 mm. Now about the copper rings. We will need 21 copper ring. Wire diameter for this project is 1.2 mm and inner ring diameter is 5.5 mm. Okay, for the first step we will need 11 copper rings. Oh wait, I forgot to mention another component. Of course, we will need a piece of leather cord. Okay, don't forget about it. Well, for the first step we will need um, 11 rings, copper rings, one open ring here and 10 closed rings. So you got to put your closed rings to an opened one. Well, it's complicated to hold it, so I will use my pliers better. Okay. Last one. Now, let's close the ring. Well, now we have small, a little bit ugly basic unit. So, uh, it consists of one central ring there and five pairs of rings all around the central ring. So now our goal is to add uh, five steel rings to each two rings to each pair. So like that. Let's close the ring. Okay, now let's add another ring here to these two rings. Next, next two rings like that. Let's close it and so on here. Here and here. Okay, we are close, very close to the finish line. Let's take another open steel ring and connect um, one um, copper ring from every pair. So for the first uh, ring I will use this ring and this one, like that, you see. Now let's close the ring. Okay, that's the last ring we just had. Now we have to add another ring. Sorry for my poor English, I hope that you understand the point. Uh, well, uh, the second ring of this um, round will go through this ring and this one. So, like that. You see, like that. Now let's close it. Okay, now we got to add three more rings here here and here. Like that, here here and also here. Well, let's close these three rings. Oh, look at this flower, it looks nice, very nice. So, now let's uh, flip it over, like that. And 
let's put another round of rings so it will be just like the previous round so the next ring will go between these two rings after that between hmm, these two rings these two rings these two rings okay I have just put one ring I will close it and put some more and you just watch And here goes the last steel ring. Let's close it. So, so that how it looks from the top and that how it looks from the side. Let's make it a little bit more rigid. So, do you see uh, these eyes between all three layers of the of rings so here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ten here so we have a uh, 10 copper ring remaining and we should put these uh, copper rings in these eyes all of them Oh, that's so hard work to put these ten, ten rings at its places. It's very, very hard and complicated. It takes ages, ages of time. But I'm gonna live forever, so I have two ages, two ages, and I can put all the rings inside. Okay, and now the last one. Let's close the ring. Well, all rings are at their places and of course I could use uh, some more rings to make the unit more stable, but I like I'd like to use a leather cord more just because I like leather. So, Let's do it. Mm. So
here it is well what can i say i can say that this pendant pattern is very easy but still so so charming so i wish you luck in your creations don't forget to check out my other videos and have a nice day see you next time guys and girls bye bye